Hey everyone, I wanted to share real quick a really simple chat GPT example that I have put together. So if you're not familiar with chat GPT, uh, you can go to chat.openai.com and uh, slash chat and start a, add an account and start a chat in chat GPT. So uh, you can either start a new chat, which will just do this or um, ask chat G GPT a question like, um, how does uh, Java compare to Python. Let's see what it tells us. Both widely used, of course. Okay, so it's gonna give us a nice answer. So what we wanna try to do is integrate this with Comet Chat. Comet Chat comes with the ability to interface with bots, but we don't actually have the bot uh, logic behind the interface. So to have this kind of an answer re returned, you have to have a third party to do that. In this case, we'll show you how to do that with ChatGPT. So the first thing we do is set up a bot in Comet Chat. And you can use any user. Um, I have uh, created already Body McBotterson. And uh, so once you've got a user, just any user uh, that will sort of encapsulate the bot. And these are standard bot instructions for Comet Chat. So once you've got a user, uh, then you create a bot. Um, I will actually need to edit this in a moment, uh, but um, so we'll create this uh, bot interface. Um, we'll get our credentials. We'll take those credentials over and make some calls in our code. And then we'll also do very similarly, we'll get the credentials from, uh, this is ChatGPT uh, credentials. So this is the ChatGPT GPT credentials. So we'll take these and we'll go over into our code and I'll show you uh, how we'll, we'll string all these together and then we'll look at the demo in a second. So the first thing we'll do is uh, set up ChatGPT. So like I said, I went and got the credentials. Um, those are down here. This is just a little bit of Python to create the basically the bot interface. And so um, we we'll, this is the gist of calling uh, ChatGPT. So really what we're sending it that's important is this question. So um, it doesn't take much to call. And then the response we will return uh, in this method. So we'll ask GPT a question and we'll send back a response to our call. The other thing we'll do is we will send that response to Comet Chat. So this will take our Comet Chat API key. Uh, we need to know where we're sending it and that's actually gonna come in uh, through the bot interface. And so what that will look like is uh, we'll receive the call on this webhook uh, we'll parse the information that came in from Comet Chat. We'll call that GPT, ask a question, and get the response, and then we'll send that back to the person who asked us about uh, the, asked us the question. So we're going to get the uh, message itself, who sent it to us, and uh, the name of the bot. So this will allow us to respond as the bot, send it to the place uh, that we want to respond to, the person who asked us the question. And then uh, we have the text that we want to ask, what question we want to ask. So we'll ask that question of GPT and then uh, of, from the, send it to the receiver from the bot. And that is uh, sending this response to Comet Chat. So if we look at our Comet Chat interface, oops, sorry. Uh, if we look at our Comet Chat interface, that's simply uh, going to uh, post a message uh, on the bot's uh, messages interface. And uh, we will send this message. And that is the response from chat GPT. So uh, this is the code. So it is uh, in total less, really a lot less than 100 lines of code, um, all pretty boilerplate kind of stuff. Um, so what I'll do is I'll start this up. This is a web service. Generally, you deploy this on something like AWS, maybe in your own data center. And then I'm going to use a little tool here to um, proxy that onto my machine. Uh, so let me just copy this. And then I'm going to go back to uh, the Comet Chat app and edit my existing bot to point to that location I was just suggesting. So this is my bot. And as long as I just paste that here. So basically all messages that are sent to this bot uh, body, as I uh, showed you, I made the user earlier. So the user body, which is Bobby McBotterson. Um, it will send all messages sent uh, with context for body to my uh, web service that will call to ChatGPT, get the response, and then respond back into Comet Chat. So let me save that. So now we have the bot hooked up between uh, 
Comet Chat and My Web Service. My Web Service then calls Chat GPT and then responds back. So I'm going to use the Comet Chat uh, demo app and I'll just create a new group. So I'm going to call this um, Chat GPT demo. Uh, it's just a regular group. All right. And then I'm going to add my bot in here. So this is Body McBotterson. Add. And so if we say view members, uh, this is Linda, the owner, and uh, Body McBotterson. So we see here Linda added Body McBotterson. So uh, now we can ask a question. And I'm going to actually try to get this window a little bit out of the way um, so we can see. You can see this. So remember, this is my web service that I wrote that's going to get a response from or a request from Comet Chat, ask GPT the question, and then send that back to Comet Chat. So you'll see uh, a slight bit, I believe I have some printing out here, um, but let me just do that here. So we'll ask a um, question that came up the other day. Um, is there really a conspiracy around the Denver International Airport. So that message has been delivered to my web service. We called ChatGPT. ChatGDP gave us a response, and then we've sent it back to this uh, group. So uh, let's see, it says no evidence exists to suggest that there's any kind of conspiracy, unfortunately. So um, that is, in a nutshell, how you connect uh, Comet Chat with ChatGPT.